I think uh, we all agree that the biggest challenge is the oversaturation of films. It's, it's a, a wonderful medium. People know that you can make money in this medium. So everyone has jumped in and I actually think it's going to be very good for the business that there's so many more animated movies and independent films. But we're in a transitional moment and it's very difficult to find the real estate for all the movies, where to date them in the calendar year. And on top of that, there's Disney and Pixar and there's never been uh, anything like this where one corporation dominated the film landscape like this, especially for family films, which includes animation. So it is, it is a true challenge in this moment. I mean, our ambition is to make more films. So when we were talking about the competition, we're, cre we're adding to the problem because we are actually increasing our output. There are, there are a couple things we can, we can do. Um, on the creative side, I do genuinely believe that we've seen time and time again that if you make a movie that feels different, people will go. It's very important, I think, now when people have so many choices to give them something that feels like they haven't seen it before. Something first, something that you, you feel some urgency, like I must see that, I wanna see that now in the theater when everybody's still talking about it um, because it's the first time I've been offered something like that. I also think, and this sounds very obvious, but it's actually very, very hard, the movies have to be better now. It, when, when this game started, at least for the studio films, you could make a mediocre movie and families would go see it. It's a little different in Europe, but in the States that was true. Movies have to be good now. If, you, if all other things are equal, the marketing campaign is the same, the release date is the same. If the movie is actually better, if it makes you feel something, people will, people will go to that movie more than they'll go to another film. I believe very much, which I think most filmmakers do, that if you can make people cry as well as laugh, we all talk about how funny, the movies have to be funny. It's very important. People go to a lot of these mainstream animation comedies to have a laugh and have a good time, but I really believe and the movies that I did as a producer in animation were designed to make you cry as well as make you laugh and I think that's important. People want to feel something. Well, um, I'm not sure if I should admit this because I'm a little bit embarrassed, but this is my first year in Annecy. I, I came to animation late in my career. I started 12 years ago at DreamWorks Animation. Um, and during my time there, they never sent me to Annecy. <laughs> and in my first year um, at Sony, we were so busy, I couldn't break away to go. So this is my first year and I love it. And I just told the, the festival organizers, I'm here every year. Don't try to stop me from coming. I'm coming every year. Um, so obviously recruiting talent is a big goal for us here, but we have a little team of people here and they're meeting all day long. And, and I hope that we'll the result will be that we'll get some wonderful artists coming and contributing to what we're doing. Um, for me personally, I'm really looking forward to the movies. Um, I'm going to see Zamillennium in a few uh, minutes and I'm very excited and I can't wait to see um, Tehran Taboo tomorrow and um, getting to walk the market floor actually and see all the work that's going on and looking at the shorts is really, really interesting. Um, and other than that, my only other expectation is that I hope that my keynote speech is uh, interesting to people. <laughs> and that's about it for this year.